Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. I don't know why I feel really like humorous and laughy today. So if I laugh at random times, apolog apologies. Um, do you want me to just have the giggles? That's what I have today for some reason. All over social media and TikTok, everyone's in like an era. Like I'm in my cool girl era, I'm in my self-care era, all of that. And I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and make a video dedicated to that. Um, especially with the new years in 2024 as well. I thought that would be really, um, really fun to do as a lighter hearted video. So we're going to be taking a look at your new era, energies you're stepping into, which will also equate to possible timelines opening up, aspects of your personality that are going to be flowering and growing, things you may be letting go of. It'll probably go a lot deeper than just like your new era, you know, like it'll probably go a little bit deeper than that, but that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I felt the need to do four perfumes today um so that's what we're doing so pile number one is the ariana god is a woman that is pile one pile number two is sorry guys it's my hair pile number two is the valentino i can't remember the name but it's the valentino one this one that's for pile two pile number three we have the ariana rem And pile number four, we have the Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth. So see which fragrance you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamps. Hey, pal one, welcome to your readings. So we are taking a look at your new era so the energies that you are currently aligning with and will be aligning with moving forward anything that comes with that personality aspects new timelines energies that you're aligning with and embodying um that's what we're taking a look at so you guys chose god is a woman the fragrance i'm going to start with um tarot and then we will move into your oracle cards. I lost my words then. So pile number one, please, spirit guide. Tap me into the God is a woman pile. Tap me into the God is a woman pile. Pile number ones, please. Pile number ones. Pile number ones, please, spirit guides. What is the new era my pile number ones are embodying and stepping into? I heard I don't give a F and not in like a negative way like that. It's almost like I, I'm hearing that lyric opinions ain't facts. Take them in and let them go. I think that was Chipmunk. I think that was the rapper Chipmunk, I'm sure. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. Like I almost see like a liberation and a freedom from the eyes of others in the sense of maybe making yourself small for others but also I feel like maybe in the past sometimes you had a little bit of anxiety around I almost feel like I'm over analyzing a situation like did I say the wrong thing did I um what did I do that made that person go cold or what did I do that caused this or what did I do it's almost like I'm feeling constantly guilty for something that I haven't done or I'm constantly looking at fault for myself um and it's almost like I'm picking at myself whereas I feel like the energy that you're starting to embody it's like I know myself I check myself constantly I know that that wasn't me so okay and it's like I you know if I want to wear this or if I want to say this this is how I feel or this is how I what I want to wear or this is what I want to do I don't know why I should worry about other people's opinions of that you know or I want to do this as a career if you hear crying, it's Vader, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's what I, I see for you guys. It's almost like I, I really don't care. I just, I keep being shown somebody letting down their hair and it's like, I don't I don't care. I don't care for the opinion. I don't care for the, the apology to come back to me. You did what you did. I'm not losing sleep over it. Like, I see a lot of that. And I feel like I, I'm, you know, the Taylor Swift song, Shake It Off. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I'm just shaking off anything, any projections from others, any worries and anxieties it, it's just like i'm shaking it off that's the first thing coming coming out pile number one piece for it guys pile like i see like 
I see somebody go into like just factory settings in their brain go into think what if they think this or what if they think that and then catching themselves and going I really don't care what they think you know I, I really don't care if if they look at me funny because I start singing I don't care if they look at me funny because I wear this or I do my hair like this I don't care um it's kind of like that or it's like you may in the past have maybe like checked up on people and I just see you guys being like I really don't care what they're up to they're not in my life and this is in my life and it's adding value I, I don't need to double check like that it's not I don't need to so there's a lot of that just falling away um pile number one's new era we have the eight of pentacles reversed we have the knight of wands if i put in that right yeah oh it's a king of wands not knight of wands sorry um pile number one's new era yeah i'm hearing the interlude from billy eilish's album happy than happy than ever she has an interlude called not my responsibility and she's like at the, the end of the it, she kind of speaks in it but at the end of it she's like is your opinion of me none of my responsibility or something like that so it sounds like you're taking the chains off in regards to that which i feel like ironically is having more people turn heads or try to get your attention because it's like unbothered so i'm trying to have your energy on me or people may feel that your energy's just taken off them or that you know you might have catered to something within them before so it's almost like i'm trying to get your attention now i'm trying to get it's almost like making me drawn to you because it's almost like i'm wanting to be in your space like don't forget about me you know that song um from the breakfast club don't you forget about me that's what i'm hearing you may even find this year that some people may pop up from the past because there's almost this feeling of like do you think of me you seem very carefree i don't want you to forget about me sort of thing i don't want you to let go of me so easy that sort of thing um you also if you're like dating or anything like that you may be in an energy of like one strike and you're out like i'm not wasting time um there's a lot of value on this is my energy i'm not spending it on x y and z or anything that isn't going to be fruitful for me um pile number one ace of wands and the back of the deck we have the nine of swords i feel like you've poured a lot of energy maybe into releasing and letting go of things i feel like you've poured in a lot of energy of wondering why you're like what was wrong with me why you know why did this happen what did I do wrong and I feel like you've gone in a cycle in the past where maybe it could be you've just picked yourself apart in a negative way but it could also be that you've done a lot of healing inwardly like I've cleared this and I've cleared that and it's almost like I've done what I've needed to do and I constantly do what I need to do so I'm not going to continue worrying and losing sleep like I know I check myself I know I work through my own wounds and if you're not doing that then I don't need to sit there and try and fix your issues or problems either that's you know what I mean like I'm, I'm pouring into myself so I guess some people may feel like you're in somewhat of a selfish era you could call it that in a light way but I don't see it like a selfish way like all for me doing for me because I see that naturally you're actually a very caring individual naturally and I feel like you do have a lot of love to give I just feel like you're going to be very careful where that love goes um and I feel like you're going to limit the resources for things that are beneficial which is going to make a lot of people it's almost like I'm, I'm waving to try and get your attention that sort of thing I'm going to start like up in my energy and pouring into you if not so that I can have some of that energy back because I feel like you give a lot and I do see you pulling back to a degree. I just feel like naturally you are a giving person. Or it could be what I'm picking up is you work in a profession of giving. So you could work in like a profession of um, caring for people. You could be a therapist, a counsellor. Um, you know, you could just do work on the side like that. It could be spiritual work. I feel like you naturally do give a lot because you have a very big heart. Um, or it could be the people that are in your close circle you do give a lot of love to. But I feel like outside of that, it's almost like I'm not giving free for all. I'm keeping that for me um and I really don't care what you have to say about it and it's like I'm I see somebody literally flicking the hair like I really don't care what you have to say your opinion of me is invalid like that's what I'm picking up here but there's something coming from I've like no tears left to cry like I've cried enough or I've purged enough or I've been upset enough or I've 
pulled and yanked at myself enough like i am enough and i see like a really big switch it's like a click or a light bulb that either you are already aligning with um or it's gonna come but i feel like for most of you that have clicked it's already here because i can pick i'm picking it up it's like i know who i am you can't tell me about me and i also see this is actually going to be very very fruitful for you in terms of like business attracting the right people in and bringing manifestations in because i keep hearing lucky um i could be so lucky in love i can't remember who sings that and i'm hearing that just like magic song by ariana where she sings like manifest it i finessed it so it's the reason i'm picking that up is i feel like that energy that you would have maybe given like a free for all i see you pouring it into like certain areas of your life so i see up levels there and i see you being very focused on that which is where that unbothered energy comes from because it's almost like they're not checking up on x y and z they're pouring into this so it's almost like a little bit untouchable um i keep being shown princess diaries um i'm sure there's like a scene where she's like in a carriage or going along in like a car and then all the kids come running after the carriage i'm being shown something like that not that that's literally gonna happen i mean it could um but it's more so it's just like your energy feels like limited but in like an expensive way like it's a luxury item that's how you're you're doing your luxurious era your high maintenance era if we're gonna give it an era name you're in your high maintenance era and i feel like a lot of what people may have got in in the past so they may have had cheats to get in or whatever that's not gonna work um and i see people are gonna look at you a little bit like you're lucky like people are gonna look at you like oh that's just come out of nowhere that's just come out of nowhere and i don't think it's that i just feel like the magic juice the magic formula the magic potion that maybe naturally you just gave out for free i feel like you're filtering it into something that is going to be fruitful for you because i see something coming in in this era um where it could be either something material you know like a car or a home you could have an abundance of like money in regards to your um job you could have like inheritance or something i, I just keep being shown the eighth house um so something like that you could also um just get like a promotion or something in your job or something like that um i keep being taken to the 11th house too so think of like maybe like online as well um like a following or clout like that but it's gonna look like it came overnight i don't think it did i feel like maybe you've worked at that and then that extra energy is just that zhuzh that has it blow up um but to other people there's something where it's like one minute they were like this and now they're like this what's happened so you're almost gonna look a little bit like quote unquote lucky it's more you're in alignment it's more your energy's going where it needs to go. It's more the pipes are all in the right places and the water's flowing the way it's meant to. You know what I mean? That's basically um, what's happening. And I feel like it's also a receiving end of what you've purged out with the Nine of Swords. I feel like you may have gone into a, a, a dome or a shell and maybe done purging or healing. And this is the other side of it. Because when we release something and we let go, something's got to come and take its place. So I feel like that's what may be coming in then to take its place. Um, yeah, you're in your high maintenance era. That's what I would call you guys, the high maintenance era. Pile number one. Because it's almost like my energy is demanding what I give out. So energetically, it's like, so that job opportunity is here. So that you know the money that the energy that i give out it's coming back in money or it's coming back in connections or it's it's coming back in um opportunities you know career wise it's coming back in in that way because i let go of what i was holding on to before it's like you're mo you've monkey branched into that energy into that paradigm we should call it um pile number one If you ever wondered what's my favorite ariana perfume other than ari because i love that one it's the one you chose god is a woman i think it's such a nice smell it's my favorite other than ari don't know why i said that <laughs> you may find people just tell you things in this era as well you may have always had that but i feel like i it's like i I want to be in your circle like i want to be in in your group you know what i mean like i want to be on your team like that it's that type of vibe that i feel like you're drawing in because it's like luxury pile number one we have generosity 
aisle number one, please, for guides. I don't know why I'm putting them all the way up here. They can go here, can't they? Yeah. Um, we have truth. Pile number one's new era. I see strong boundaries in this era, like really strong, strong, strong boundaries, especially with all the oranges and yellows connecting to the solar plexus. Um, we have wisdom and I think I'm going to do four. So let me get one more. If you hear any noise in the background, it's either Luna or Veda because they're the two that have been running around, running around me. Pile number one. And we have humour. Lots of oranges, reds and yellows. So it's like, I feel like you're going to be very present in this era. Very grounded, which is where that probably flow of money or finances comes in. Um, or just, um, what's it called? Ass assets, is that assets? I don't know. Um, I just see like a focus there, but it's also like confidence. Like I'm glowing from within. Who says can't touch this? Da -na -na -na, da -na, da -na, can't touch this. I just heard that. Um, I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but that's what I heard. And we have nurture as well. Okay. You know what's interesting about you though? You've given out a lot of your energy for free that people have already had a taste. So it's like, of course, I'm going to want more because I feel like you guys at your core, like I said, you've got very big hearts. So you're very caring, you're very loving, you're very soft. Um... I'm very sweet and you hold space like that and i'm not saying you're not gonna do that again that's not what i'm saying but i just feel like for the people that may try and yank at that i feel like you're kind of shut off to that um or people may i feel like in the past because people know you're a good person i feel like people in the past have tried to make their way in thinking that your kindness would allow them back in or your softness and I think that people are going to be met with the shell around that softness. Um, so it's like, ah, oh, you know what I mean? Like now I'm going to I'm gonna have to try a different way. Or you know what I mean? Or they may just feel completely shut out. Like that's how it feels. Um, I just heard Mariah Carey obsessed as well. There's a lot of songs coming through for you guys. Um, she sings, why are you so obsessed with me? So you may have someone that pops up and tries to tries to get in with that obsessed song could be that um but that's what i was picking up with the generosity and the nurture nurture card at the back of the deck i feel like you have such an abundance of love naturally um and i do feel like you're going to be pouring a lot of that energy into um because i'm seeing the lemon trees here like into ideas that are going to create fruition later on or find like make you money financially later on that doesn't even make sense i don't think um but it's gonna you know it's gonna be fruitful for you maybe materially or financially that's what i was trying to say um i also see you with boundaries we have to speak our truth so i kind of see an activation in your throat chakra i feel like you've always read people and seen people but i feel like you're gonna voice it i feel like people have thought before in the past when you read them that you weren't reading them so it's almost like oh they don't know that i feel like this or they don't know that um i'm doing this whereas i feel like you're almost calling it out straight away like no i can see you're doing this um and i see you voicing it so people are gonna be like oh but that's always been that. I think people are going to start to see that true, you know, part of you. Because the thing about you is you don't just see through your intuition. You see through your heart space. You know what's genuine or not. You know what I mean? Um, so I see you seeing through that. Wisdom and humor. Why do we have wisdom underneath the Ace of Cups? I don't know if you have got a degree in something. Could just be like wisdom spiritually. Um, but I see people coming to you for that. I'm literally being shown somebody with the Ace of Cups, like, going up to the fountain and asking for that. So if you, I feel like for you guys, some of you might start a book, like writing a book, if that makes sense. Not reading a book, writing a book. You might start writing a book or like making decks or making art or monetizing wisdom and putting it out there. Like, I feel like something like that may come through or like art or, um... You could be using that in terms of your career as well to make um, abundance for yourself too, which is really, really 
um beautiful and with the humor card i just see that as more lighter hearted energies like i do feel like with the nine of swords being at the back of the deck you have gone through a period of maybe like crying things out purging energies out letting go of a lot um a lot of the seriousness too um and i feel like with the humor card it's almost like there's a light energy coming in i don't even think it's coming in i think it's here and softening and i feel like you're then protecting your peace with those boundaries which is why your high maintenance era is what's being highlighted anything else spirit guides that's it so pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching reading so we are taking a look at your new era so the energies you're aligning with personality traits that may start blooming uh timelines that are opening up all of that that's what we're taking a look at you guys chose the valentino fragrance so i'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number pile number two please break guides tap me into the collective straight away i felt very rooted like i literally feel like i went jump rooted and i was shown taurus and i was shown oh what's the word it's not belongings it's not assets what's it called like material things and not in like oh you're going to be materialistic that's all you're going to care about no i don't think it's that um but i do see a really strong focus in the physical um uh, making moves in the physical and i almost feel like you're aligning with that energy um especially if you've always been connected to spirit beforehand it's almost like the magician like you're blending the worlds together to create abundance in the physical so that may be like a focus um or you could be enjoying the fruits of already having done that in your past era blending the energies um but yeah i keep being taken to the second house and also like just the self-confidence and you may also be building your ego up after an ego death and trying different things out and really honing who you are you could be in an era of self-discovery as well is something that i would say i know that's more first house um but i'm just that's where i'm being taken to as well um but yeah let's get in pile number <clears throat> oh god Pile number two, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number two. Pile number two's next era. Pile number two's next era. The era my pile number twos are aligning with. We have the magician. I said that I saw the magician. Interesting. Pile number. Pile number two. We have the fool. Again, that's that new beginner energy. Pile number two's new era. Four of wands. Pile number two's next era. Pile number two's next era. Five of pentacles. Interesting. I just heard where there is lack, we create. Where there is lack, we, we create. That's what I just heard. Knight of Wands. And I always say that as well. Like, energy is waiting for us to give it a direction. And through the void, we create what we are. You know what I mean? When we come to Earth, we are just an idea that our soul has. And then we manifest into the physical. We mold into the physical some of you guys may actually have been through an ego death or some sort of clearing out that may have been very deep for you because i feel like i've let go of a lot for you to have so much space and room i feel like i've got a lot of leg room i feel like i've got a lot of arm room you've been clearing out the cave like you've been releasing you've been letting go this doesn't serve me this isn't what i want this isn't me anymore i've outgrown this like that's how i feel so i almost feel like i'm in an empty room which is where that fool energy is coming from and where that new beginner energy is coming from it's almost like i'm face less so now it's time to create um which is where i was getting that first house energy and it's funny that the magician also popped up because what i was saying was 
we manifest, we create, you know what I mean? Out of energy and ideas, we manifest, we use that wand and we create the life that we have and we're constantly doing that. And that's a huge focus that I see for you guys. Now I keep being shown, I know like not everyone watches Doctor Who the way I do. You all know I'm obsessed with Doctor Who. Well, one of the new episodes was on recently and the villain was called a toy maker. <laughs> and um, the whole point of him was he um, he could manipulate the physical world. So like when people were, you know, they had guns, he was turning the bullets into rose petals so they couldn't get him. And when people were running after him, he was turning them into balloons. And he did it in a very like charismatic, funny way. Um, he was singing to like a Spice Girl song and he was dancing around and he was defying like the laws of physics by jumping through portals and singing the song and it was all fun and games to him right that's kind of an era you're in not in the villain way where you're causing havoc but in the way of i see you trying on different hats and seeing things that work for you um and i see this new era you're actually molding into um who you are in this next phase after this purge you've lacked go I feel of so many aspects of your personality that were uh, that were kind of tailored and um, braided into projections of you and things that may have happened in childhood or things you were told you had to be and I see that gone so it's like well who am I now there's a big question mark that I feel that maybe you guys have already been feeling of who am I and I feel like maybe you've let go of maybe like wounds and like insecurity so now it's like I'm building up my confidence who am I I'm building up my ego what do I like what can I align with you know we want to have a healthy ego we don't want the ego to completely dissolute because to have a healthy ego is to understand who we are and the boundaries we have as a human being and what we will and won't tolerate and what we like and what we don't like. It helps us know our needs. And that's what I see you really toying with and playing with to see what it is that you like. I see a very carefree phase because with the fool, it's the beginning of the journey. He doesn't know what's up against him yet. You know what I mean? He just heads off on that journey with zero expectations. And that's the vibe that I see you guys in. It's almost like a blank canvas. So I see like charcoals in front of me, watercolors in front of me, whatever the other paints are in front of me. And it's almost like, what do I want to do? Like what, what picture do I want to draw? What do I want to become? It's limitless. You know what I mean? And I, I see... As time goes on, little flowers sprouting up. And I do see you getting very friendly and very comfortable with the material world. You've probably not felt like, mm, I don't really care for this. I don't really care for that, you know, material wise. I don't really care for that. I don't care about aesthetics. I don't, especially if you've gone through an ego death, that goes out the window. I know firsthand. So I see you tying with this is an aesthetic that I like. This is these are scents that I like. This is the type of, I see you watching movies and getting inspired that way. And like, what really calls to me? How do, what makes me feel confident? What makes me, because I feel like this is the, the next era, the first step is your self-worth and confidence and kind of like what makes me, because I was being shown the second house, what makes me feel confident? What makes me um, feel happy? What makes me um you know feel luxurious and i would also say to look at your second house in astrology see what rules it because i feel like that would also give an inkling as to what um can help you feel more i want to say the words accomplished as well like feel more confident feel more um aligned with the physical and this human avatar that we're in but also i i kind of feel like it's it's also going to help you maybe later on down the line attach yourself to what you really want to achieve in life you know what i mean and it could be i just want a soft life you know or it could be i want to make millions it whatever is calling to your soul so i see this next era being an era of growth where i see you shaking things up there was an episode on the kardashians years and years and years ago and i think it was after kim had just left the guy she was married to for like 72 days and I think she was just starting to date Kanye at the time and she went through a phase of wearing wigs because she was just I guess didn't know who she was or what she wanted or whatever and she just kept wearing wigs all the time like she'd go and see the younger two I can't remember their names now and she'd wear like this little bob wig or like I think it was like a wig like the mother Christiana um and then I remember she had like a red wig and she was just wearing different things. And she said it, she was, I'm sure she said something like she was just trying to 
be in like a different skin or like try something different um after what had just happened and I, I don't know i see that for you guys i see you trying different things i see you getting inspired by movies by music i see you having kind of like muses as well some of you guys might not even want that and you're just finding that from within um and just trying out different things i feel like you're picking up a paintbrush or a charcoal or a pencil and you're, you're trying things out um you're trying on different hats and you're asking yourself what do i want you know i i feel like this is all about you you may take inspiration from friends and people around you but i see you being very free spirited this is your free spirited era this is your creative era um but i do see there is a focus on the material and creating things in the material whether it's you creating art you finding a home that you like and doing it up in a way that you like interior wise and things like that um you may decide to change the complete decor of your entire home um you could throw out all your old clothes and try something different like i see that there's a focus on the um the first house you could also have just gone through a 12th house perfection year and now you're going into a first house perfection year as well you could also numerology wise have gone through a personal year number nine and you're going into a personal year number one as well um because number one is ruled by the sun the ego so there's there's a lot of that coming through as well but i feel like you've just come out of a cave and it's like learning to walk again and what do i like and who am i in this next phase and i think you're getting to know yourself like that and then i feel like then what trickles in is this is what i'd like these are the goals i'd like to do career wise this i want to save up for a house like this because i realize that this is what i want or i realize that i love the beach and i would love to move somewhere by the beach or i um definitely want to switch jobs now or i want to overhaul my you know um my home uh or my aesthetic like that's what i see um so it's very focused on the physical and the human body and like who am i what do i represent and how can i be seen in a way that represents who i am now because i feel like you've outgrown a lot um and i see you talking like with the valentino spray every time i'm looking at it i'm hearing prima donna by marina and the diamonds so it's almost like tying with like characters are like am i into this am i into that like what sometimes on tiktok like these things come up and it's like ask your friends what you are and it's like different types of water and it's like a waterfall uh raindrop and i'm sure it's like young kids that make them but i have a fun time watching them and deciding which one i am <laughs> um i always do is like which disney princess you and i'm like hmm i think i'm Belle. like and i i enjoy that i don't know why but i that's coming up to me because it's almost like what do i like what type of water am i you know what I mean? What type of drink am I? Am I red wine? Like, what's my aesthetic? Am I this? Am I that? So I see that and I see you having fun with it. It's it's lighthearted and I see you guys kind of um, trying out like new activities as well. Um, because again, I'm being taken back to the toy maker from Doctor Who when he was jumping around doing all the crazy things. So I feel like you may even try different things out. Um, like I'm being shown somebody kayaking for some reason down a stream um and then I'm being shown somebody getting into fashion and it's like who would have thought you know who would have thought that this would be I keep being shown like imagine you before you went through the transformation and then you after it and then that meme I think it's Paul Rudd he's like look at us who would have thought and the other version of him is like not me like I think they like uh, mirrored it so it was like two versions of him I'm sure but that's what I um that's what I'm seeing um because I, I I think I'm being made to be delicate on what's gonna grow and what you're gonna grow into because I feel like that's for you to discover why would I want to ru ruin the journey for you the whole point of the fool is he doesn't know what's up, up forward and he tries out different things you know and sometimes it's the high priest and sometimes it's the star and sometimes it's the lovers and sometimes it's the devil but you know he goes through all those phases um so that's what I that's what I'm picking up here with a knight of wands as well it's like we're having fun with the third dimensional realm because we can see it from a deeper level again we're having ideas and we're bringing them in uh I see a lot of loose energy like life's what you make it that's a song for you guys um life's what you make it by Han Montana that's what I would say um 
that's Veda. <laughs> um, Veda agrees. But yeah, I feel like you're in your... The code for you is free-spirited era. We've had high-maintenance era, pile number one. We have free-spirited era, pile number two. Um, so pile number two, please, spirit guides. The oracle cards. Oh my god, sorry guys. I'm going to pop them back, but I will use that one because it hit the card. And I feel like for a reason. <laughs> um we have new beginnings of course that needed to jump out didn't it not shock me new beginnings and with the one and the three adding up to four um i feel like you are building who you are building that ego back up building your creative senses back up getting the creative juices flowing you know Pile number, I love when the cards confirm, pile number um, two, we have Fortune, Lakshmi. And you see all those coins there again, it's like I'm getting in touch with the physical again and now I have a desire to build something or create something. It's almost like maybe in the past you would push towards building a career or push towards um uh you know building something up or having certain assets because well everyone does it so i guess i have to do that or it may may have been out of survival or it could have been i have to have x y and z to look a certain way or everybody has this and they're making me feel bad if i don't have it it could have been that you know what i mean whereas now it's like i don't care what any of you are saying this is who I'm going to be. And I'm going to buy that. Not because I, I'm i trying to be like anything. But because I like it. And I want to. That, that, that's something that I want to buy. I want to try that out. I want to try this out. Not because I'm trying to prove anything. But just because I think that's a bit of me. And it's very liberating. You know. And, and that's what I see. Um, with that card. And you may find that your approach to work. Or building things is so different now. You know what I mean? Now that you're like, mm, I don't have anything to prove. I released that. And now I find my confidence from within. So now that I don't have anything to prove, I'm going to do it my way. Um, and this is the way that I'm going to do it. You know? You know that Calvin Harris song, My Way? I always forget the lyrics, but that's what I'm hearing. Pile number. We have co-creation. Yeah, I see you also manifesting a lot this year. Because like I said, with that toy maker villain guy, um, it's a really good program. You should watch Doctor Who, guys. It's really good. Um, if you haven't already. But um, with him, he kind of defied, like I said, the laws of physics. And he was able to manipulate the world. So it's almost like we're going to manifest. We're going to defy the 3D. And we're going to manifest and bring this in. Um, we're going to be able to do that because we can see beyond just the 3D. The same way that in Doctor Who, the Time Maker could see beyond the world and the rights and wrongs. He was beyond that again. Um, and that's what I'm seeing with the co-creation. It's like we're bringing something in. We're manifesting something in. Um, we're ma bringing abundance in. You know, we're bringing... Um, I see a lot of materialism and like I'm build building blocks like Lego. I've decided that I like listening to vinyls. I'm going to go buy a bunch of vinyls. You know what I mean? Whereas before you'd be like, I'm not spending money on that. That's stupid. Whereas now you're like, no, that's, that's something that I do. I'm going to buy vinyls. Or it could be, you know, like I do fragrances. Like, you know what? I'm going to buy some fragrances. I decided I like scents. Uh, I'm going to start drinking wine, you know, because that's what I, I want to drink. Like, whatever it is, I feel like you're getting in touch with that. We have the past here as well make sure it focuses and let's take a look at the back of the deck we have flow yeah i see a lot of that this year because I, I see there's like not a lot of expectations i see you just kind of aligning and also kind of aligning with like who do i want around me to what fits me who have i outgrown um and just being open to the new and allowing anything else to just kind of flow away that needs to why do we have the past Why do we have the past? When I look at that, I feel like we've shed the past and then we were in a cocoon. And I, do you know what I see with the past as well? 
The little things you might have let go of in the past or you may have been shamed out of or aspects of your personality that you hid in the past, I see them making a reoccurrence back up. Um, so you may randomly have like different time periods that come into view like 2012, 2016, 2018, 2001, you know what I mean? 1995 and it's like, hmm, like I don't know why I'm thinking of that era but feel into the feeling because it could be like an aspect of your personality that was repressed in that era that's popping back up like, you know what? I fit this era. I fit this era that you're in now and I think you could use me. And then it's like you're embracing that part of you or it could be something that you used to wear back in the day and you find it and it's like, wow, that made me feel really good or like a hobby that you used to do. And it's like, actually, I love to do this. This is like my favorite thing. Um, and I see you finding little things because like we've tied the tower down, but there may have been a few things in there that could have been valuable. So it's almost like we're looking through the rubble um, and look, we have this lipstick that I used to wear and I forgot that red lipstick looks good on me. Let's try that out, you know, or, um, I felt disconnected from spirituality, but I just found my tarot deck and now I feel this is coming with me and I, I know this is something that I'm going to dive into, you know, it could be, it could be anything or I'm looking at the roses that it could be, you know, gardening or flowers and nature, you know, it, it could be anything like that, but I see them coming up and I see that burst of energy then coming in but it's like in a new way you're aligning with it in a different way after having let go of it because there may have been wounds attached to it but now that the wounds have gone you can pick it back up again so that's what i see you're in your free spirited era pile number two that's what i have for you guys um i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at your next era so any personality aspects that prop pop up um any timelines that are open to you anything that you just grow into in this era that's what we're going to be taking a look at so you guys chose the REM fragrance I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number three please spirit guides pile number three Pile number three, please, Spirit Guides. What era am I pile number three stepping into? What era? I want to say you're stepping into your super psychic era. I don't know why that wanted to come out like that, but it did. Pile number three. Pile number three's next era. What era are they stepping into? I see you embodying your gifts a lot, gifts, not gifts, um, your gifts a lot stronger, the Empress, the Tower, Pile number three, you may be studying or learning something or getting a degree or a, I'm hearing Masters in something, Queen of Wands, Pile number three's new era, please, High Priestess, yeah. You literally have three major arcanas in this spread. And the only one that isn't a major arcana is a queen of wands. You even have a major arcana at the back too. You have justice. Um, so this feels very aligned. I feel like this feels kind of important. Not you and your important era. <laughs> um, but I see... I, I don't know why I'm being shown someone with a wooden bowl, right? I'm being shown someone with a wooden bowl... And there is a river that has like a lilac-y, celestial -y liquid in, which is like a Kashic record, cosmic wisdom. And I see somebody with this wooden bowl and I almost feel like it's my turn. Like it's my turn to access this part of myself, I guess, or knowledge from, you know, Mother Gaia. And it's almost like I'm hearing a call. It's like only certain people get called. I'm getting called. So I take my wooden bowl. I go to the stream. And I get the water in. And then I take it home. And it's almost like, you know, like Harry Potter. When they dip their head in the bowl. And then they go into like another world. Or they see that memory from that water bowl. If you haven't seen it, they basically have a 
thing of water like that and they literally stick their head in you know as if they're being like bacteria or something they dunk it in and they're able to witness something it's like they're able to witness and walk through a memory that somebody's had and that's how i see it but it's almost like i'm dipping my head in um and it's almost like there's downloads happening like i'm going into when i say a slumber not like a slumber like i'm going away for a while and i'm retreating and i'm gaining all of this knowledge it's not like that i still see you present in the physical but it's almost like there's an activation happening like i, I see dna structures like shifting i see you know like when you see the matrix with the numbers like that's what i'm being shown um so i see that this next era for you guys a lot of your gifts are going to be coming in a lot stronger um but i also want to say that you are going to feel like a snail that is grown that has grown too big for its shell for a hot minute while you find a new shell if that makes sense so it's by that i mean you may find that routines that you have ways of moving through life foods that you've been eating they're not registering with you anymore it's like i actually am really craving this type of food now or i am really craving this type of lifestyle now or i am really craving this and it's almost like i'm aware of why i'm feeling this way it's like i'm getting in touch with things that i haven't aligned with who have we got we've got jaspi is it jaspi jasper hello boy jasper's here um it's almost like i'm getting in touch with parts of myself and it's like i'm understand it's like i understand myself so much deeper so i'm able to connect with myself a lot deeper and understand who i am deeper um and align with that so it's like i'm accepting that i'm a very sensitive person and i'm accepting that people mean a lot to me and connections mean a lot to me and i don't need to be shamed for that this is just something that i feel because i am deeply you know i'm highly sensitive and that's what i feel so knowing that and now that i've accepted that and i understand this part of myself now i need to change the way i'm looking at relationships because i can't just have throwaway relationships i prioritize people very strongly i can't have people that aren't doing that back for me i need something that's going to nurture me back so then that changes do you get what i mean um um uh let me think of another way you know i take on energy a lot from other people so i'm gonna really need to root myself in and i'm gonna really need to eat foods that ground me more maybe i'm gonna have to eat more chocolate or more breads or things that root me into my body because i am constantly downloading and i need to do that or maybe it's the other way where it's like i naturally channel a lot anyway um but i need to keep my body very light maybe i need to stop eating x y and z that makes me feel heavy so i can bring all of that energy in and keep my body light for that i tend to find a lot of us that do this type of work our body will tell us how to prep for what's to come so you may be finding that there's like foods and environments that you don't want to be in um you know for that to kind of come through um that's what i'm really being shown as well but then i almost see that it's like a paradigm then that opens up because it's like a new pathway that you're walking down then hi jaspi um it's like a new pathway that you're creating for yourself and that you're walking down then following your intuition so i see a lot of shake-ups that you're making yourself because it's like i'm listening to my intuition i know that i need to do this now i know that i need to make this change i know that i need to put my money here and the reason you're doing it is because instead of just like i have psychic gifts and i have an intuition it's like I'm not saying it, I'm just going with it because it's already ingrained into me. I know that I'm feeling the urge to make a shift here. I know that I'm feeling the urge to step away. I'm not going to second guess it, I'm just going to listen. So it's almost like barriers that the human mind creates of like, mm, that could just be, you know, just a intrusive thought. Mm, that You could just be overthinking that. It's almost like you're listening to that. You know what I mean? And it's like you're standing in that. Um, and I feel like, in honor in that it's almost like other gifts are like oh you're honoring it's flowing well we've got a backlog of gifts here so let's bring this through and then i see other gifts coming through like you may find that mediumship abilities may come through clair audience may come through clairvoyance a lot stronger because instead of you going mm, that was just a, a vision in my head but it was just nothing it is whatever you're like no 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 that that they were showing me a symbol that was a clairvoyant message you know what i mean um i'm oh, it's like i'm struggling and i don't understand why this is coming up 
and then you go to sleep and you have a vivid dream and you wake up and you're like oh I remember that dream for a reason and actually the reason I had that dream is because it's showing me where this wound is coming from brilliant thank you so much spirit thank you so much higher self let's get to work like I see you in flow with that and balancing it out um and it could be that you're integrating the spiritual into the physical too so now it's like we're harnessing both energies into the physical um because I've been shown like a braid so you could have gone away and downloaded for a little while and now you're coming back into the physical and learning to balance them both out um and you could have let go of a lot or an old paradigm in doing that uh to bring this this new one in where this connection to spirit is braided in with the physical world whereas before it was just physical world your gifts were there but somehow they didn't fit in or as i feel like the energy you're walking into now it's like it's braided together the physical and spiritual align now i have both you know so some of you guys could start like a spiritual career because it's like i'm blending both together they both are one now um that's what i see for um a lot of you guys but i definitely see some of you guys getting a degree in something um you know doing a course in something learning something or it could just be inwardly i'm i'm having downloads and upgrades um especially if you went away and did a really big clearing as well some of you guys could be going in for the clearing now but i feel like for a lot of you guys you went away and did a clearing and that old paradigm left and maybe you went from one extreme to the other so it was like very in the physical my gifts are there but mm, i don't know and then you went like fully connected to spirit forgot i had a physical body and now it's like now we're blending the both you know what i mean now we're aligning with the both of them and we're building up from there we're balancing that out with the justice card um and we're tailoring it so it's like i'm having upgrades that are now rooting me into that physical world uh, which then could be other people seeing that version of you that maybe you've hidden away for some time or you never felt confident to speak out on or bring out, you know what I mean? Or do readings for people. Maybe now people are starting to see that version of you um, because before it was like you were in that physical paradigm and you might not have felt comfortable to embody it. And then when you were in the, I'm downloading, I'm downloading, you were maybe hermiting and people didn't see you. So now people are seeing you fully you know what i mean one foot in the physical one foot in the connection to spirit but for others of you you may now be going into that period of hermit to clear um and activate certain energies but i do see psychic gifts for all of you coming in that you've always had but you've looked this is the way it's coming in you've always had them but you looked you looked at them like mm, that mm, that's not that's not a gift mm, that's just i don't know what that is you know like i i mm, but it's like, no, that's a gift. <laughs> like, the only way I can describe it is, like, me with, you know, when I get downloads and I speak through spirit, like, I used to just think, oh, it just came in my head. Oh, I don't know. I just said that. I don't know why I said it. It just came out. I just felt the need to say that. But it was like a download, you know, it was being downloaded into my mind and I was just speaking it out. But that spirit, you're know, filtering it through your current chakra. And a lot of the time people have that gift. There's so many readers and, like, they'll have that gift and they don't realize that's a gift it's like i don't know why i just know i'm like claire cognian i can't remember how to say it i always butcher it um claire cognizance claire cognizance. um a lot of people have that so it could be that um yeah i do see mediumship as well because i keep being shown ghost whisperer and i know she was a medium um if you've ever watched the tv show she was a medium and spirit would come to her and that had unfinished business and she'd cross them over and she'd see them and the the intro's really like weird it's like someone whispering they're like can you see us and i remember when i was young i'd be like oh my god but could be that coming through as well i'm thinking as well because you chose rem and that's got lavender in it um it's got like a lavender smell and lavender is connected to the to the crown chakra um i know that because it's my sister's favorite fragrance and she loves lavender um she's very psychic my sister too so um shout out bell but yeah um that's what i see for you guys i see you in your you're in your super psychic era i feel like people are really seeing you you're really being seen truly um and i see you there's no more second guessing there's no more second guessing pile number three
I just heard someone's gonna learn to put respect on your name. I don't know if somebody's called you out for something like this before, or somebody's been like, oh, that doesn't exist. You know how people can be. Um, I feel like somebody's gonna be like, oh, you're actually very, really good. Like the, something like that could happen. Pile number three. Pile number three. Oh, pile number three is new era, please. Spirit guides. We have secrets. Pile number three, please, spirit guides. I love how she's got the purple around her too, if you can see. She's got all the purple. The crown chakra energy. Yeah, I see you really listening. Like, I don't think I should eat that. I know that doesn't agree with me. I know I shouldn't watch that. Mm, that music doesn't agree with me. Mm, I think I should listen to this because I know it's going to activate this for me. That food's going to be really good for me. And it's just coming to you. And I see you implementing it. You may have, like, a dream. Like, I remember I used to get dreams of how to do my room when I was younger. Like, I think my bed needs to be facing this way. And... I remember I'd always, like, I'd have a dream and I'd be like, okay, we need to change, like, the feng shui in my dream. And I'd, like, change everything around and add things to my room to make it how it was in my dream. For what I was telling myself in my dream was, like, the optimal flow of the energies in that room. Um, and I would tell myself in my dream and then I'd wake up and be like, oh, time to change my room. And then I would spend all day changing my room around when I'd wake up. Um, so could be having things like that because that just popped in to my brain pile number <clears throat> three we have miracles secrets miracles pile number three please we have illusion pile number and we have humor back of the deck we have rebirth love that i see you really stepping into your power um re i feel like i want to say you answered a call whether you already answered the call or you're going to answer the call and that call was the vision i was shown at the beginning with the bowl with the liquid like we're getting cosmic downloads what's happening to a higher frequency we're aligning with a different paradigm where we can see life in a more multi-dimensional way we can see life a lot deeper it's like I, I either i'm going to answer the call or i already have and you'll know which one is which if you see yourself going into like a hermit mode but if you already know you've been in that then it's coming out and aligning both it's going to be different for each of you um but that's what i'm getting with the rebirth card because the two and the five adds up to seven that's neptunian energy and we're adjusting to um you know the higher realms the other realms the subconscious mind um and what's happening to ourselves deeper like that why do we have secrets well it's kind of like the occult like there's a lot of closed practices and you know with occult work not everyone's meant to know everything to do with like occult work and you know many people when they start a spiritual awakening they'll go through an ego death to know themselves deeper and a lot of people will run from that ego death a lot of people will run sometimes maybe to religion because it's fearful because they got to look at the darkness some people will just denounce it as just not good and, and run away from that side other people will embrace that and get to know their darkness and clear anything that doesn't you know work for them and get to know themselves on a deeper level but sometimes that can be scary which is why it, it is the occult and you know there are closed practices and um a lot of the times when you fall onto something deeper, it is a calling that you hear rather than, you know, something really being advertised. And that's what I see um, you guys fully embodying um, as being kind of like in the know. Um, I keep being shown the ninth house as well. So you guys may be studying or learning something. Um, but with miracles, I just, with miracles and illusion being tied together as well, it's almost like, to other it's like you can see through the illusion of the physical world which has people then look like oh what you just did was a miracle or how you did that was a miracle or how you knew to do that was a miracle but it wasn't a miracle you just saw through you saw the layers and the only reason you were able to see the layers because you saw those layers in yourself first because you recognize things outwardly from 
what you know within you know if you inwardly haven't met yourself super deep anyone that's talk talking super deep you're gonna see it as gibberish you're gonna think they're just waffling about talking about anything you're gonna think they're just speaking nonsense and it's all fluff but if you've met yourself very deep you're gonna feel and understand the words and it's gonna make sense you know what i mean it's like oh okay and that's what i see with these two cards you've met yourself deeper so now you've seen the world deeper and then people are seeing you in a different light even if they can't fully comprehend all that you are people are still seeing you in a different light um why do we have humor that was a random card to come out i feel why do we have humor yeah with the tower card and everything falling away and if you have been called into hermit mode while you were having downloads you're coming back into everyday life now so it's like how do we integrate that? How do we play now? How do we have fun now? How do we just be now? How do we, you know, how do we braid and plait that in? I feel like you're blending those two worlds. You could have also been um, drawn to pile number two because it's somewhat of a similarity. But I like the line here of the orange and the red. It's like the two colors blending together. It's not like they're flowing in. It's like two contrasts. So I feel like that's what you've been what you guys have been doing and I see you like look at the physical world more than in a lighter way because you're able to align with it in a way that makes sense to you whereas before the physical world might have not been something that you enjoyed because you may have felt like you had to put on a mask or it was all in riddles and it didn't make sense whereas now you've met yourself deeper it's like actually I can have fun with this um because now I can make this world work for me and I don't mind being seen now like let's go you know and let's create what makes right makes sense for me the career that makes sense for me or the connections that make sense for me and now i'm going to enjoy the physical world because i see deeper i see through the illusion um and that's what uh i see for you guys for your your new era so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey Palfo, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what era you are stepping into. So any personality aspects that are going to be blooming and growing for you in this next era um any timelines that are opening up for you in this next era that you're aligning with that's what we're taking a look at you guys chose the sabrina carpenter sweet tooth perfume i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle cards so as i always say let's get in so pile number four please um spirit guides pile number four please spirit guides I'm straight okay straight away I was being shown like a lone wolf but it's almost like all right you know what I've been on my own I'm going to integrate now into a pack like that's how I felt and then I was shown the scene from the office when Michael Scott he always has lunch by himself and he's like talking to like the confession camera thing and he's like I, like he's saying something like I've always had lunch by myself but and he's like points to all the other co-workers and he's like I want to have lunch with these people like he wants to kind of enjoy life with them and like you know go and have food with them or whatever and be part of it and that's a feeling that I'm getting it's almost like you know what I'm I'm gonna join this or do you know what I'm gonna do this or I feel like there may have been things you might have turned your nose up at before or you just were not interested in before you might have been you know on your own wave but i see you almost like embracing community um you may have been like you know what i'm staying single for a really long time i don't want to be in a relationship people can stay away from me i'm a lone wolf don't need a companion not me and then i feel like this new era it's like a bit of company wouldn't hurt maybe maybe we'll we'll, we'll bring someone in we'll we'll see but i see i almost feel like you're feeling magnetized by other people other people are feeling magnetized by you i feel like it's an energy thing i see you feeling a lot more open maybe in the past you felt it was easier to be on your own or maybe you had bad experiences whatever it was i don't know if you've been doing inner work to release it or maybe you've just grown out of that but i, I don't see that in your energy 
and I see with this with the sweet tooth um perfume it's like I see you embracing that and warm into something that in the past you would have been like meh don't know but I see you warm into it which I feel like you already could be uh warm into that um warm into that now you know um so let me put the cards down you might be in your lover girl lover boy you know era you may be in your your lover era who knows pile number four pile number four's next era what era my pile number four's aligning with knight of pentacles wheel of fortune what era my pile number four is aligning with page of pentacles one more card what era my pal number this is new for you i feel though this feels new it's like actually i'm gonna be part of this i'm do you know like the breakfast club when they're all part of like different groups and they would never naturally connect with each other but then they become like friends and they you know the girl with the black hair that ends up having a makeover she gets with the like jock guy and then the the bad boy gets with like the quote-unquote popular girl it's like that like i i almost feel something like that like i'm embracing something that i wouldn't normally it's like your old self would be like if you've ever watched high school musical there's a song called the status quo where the basketball guy he likes to bake and they're like no like oh my god what do you mean you like to bake you're a basketball player it's so silly now thinking about it and then the girl who loves like work like homework and stuff she's like i like to dance and they're like oh my god like the acting like it's like a big thing like i feel like there's something that you wouldn't have embraced before that that status quo song like stick to the stuff you know you would have been like no 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 that'll never be me but i see you embodying it in this new era like actually it's a bit of me I'm the other end of the spectrum now. That is a bit of me. And I do like, and it feels a community base. Like I do like to be around people and I do like to maybe, you know, maybe in the past you were like, I don't do small talk. I am deep on nothing. Um, not having a small talk type of conversation. And now you're like, I just want to connect with people for the sake of it. John, how was your day today? How's the weather been for you? How's your husband? And it's like, where's this coming from? But it's like a connection. Like you're just making that connection. It's almost like, I'm going to be your friend. Like, it, I don't know. It just feels like it's growing for me. And it, it's coming from like a lightness. Like I feel very happy. If you've ever watched an interview with Sabrina Carpenter, she's very um, bubbly. Um, That's her fragrance, by the way. That's why I said her. Um, She's very bubbly and you know when you think of like the sweet tooth fragrance it's like sweet and it's 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 nice and it's like oh like you know you get, you get excited when you see like Candyland and stuff like that so I feel like there's a light-hearted energy coming but I feel like you're feeling drawn to people and people are feeling drawn to you I feel like an aspect of your personality maybe you hid away it could have been in the past maybe like a trauma response like I don't feel safe to converse with people so I'm gonna hide this away or I feel like I'm gonna be judged so I'm just gonna either judge back or I'm just gonna hide away so I'm not judged like I'm just gonna stick to myself whereas i feel like that's almost shifting and changing um in this new era you have the four of pentacles at the back of the deck yeah i see you being more responsive and open which is drawing people in like in the past it was like i'm not going to talk to that person i'm not going to have a joke with that person or i don't feel comfortable to or i have anxiety thinking about that whereas i feel like there's a shift where it's like i love that and you also maybe could have been like an introvert, but now you're moving into a more extroverted phase where it's like, I want to talk to people. I want to converse with people. I want to befriend people. Like I want to bring people in. I see you being really open um, and people are feeling that from you. So they're being drawn to you. Not in the sense of like, oh, I'm open to everybody. Like you're going to have your boundaries. Um, you know what I mean? You're going to have your boundaries. You're going to be speaking your truth, like all of that. But it's like, there's like a warmth radiating where I feel really, really drawn to you. And I do think if you're single, that is going to attract like partners, you know, people that you go on dates with. Um, there's like, a, I feel like you're gaining like a light back that maybe you buried, you know, maybe a part of you that was afraid to be seen or a piece of you that you just felt it wasn't going to be reciprocated. So you just you know, hid it away. Like maybe in school, you know, you may have had like an experience or college, you may have had an experience with somebody that took your kindness for a weakness or somebody that, you know, didn't 
kind of like rejected you in a way and it was almost like okay well I'll just hide this part away but I see this kind of blooming out and coming out because it's like well this is me take me as I am or not at all like, but it feels like that but I feel soft and I feel like I'm I'm showing a level of vulnerability and then I'm having that back um I keep seeing you holding on to somebody like being tactile with somebody um whereas you normally wouldn't and then I, that person's like radiant and warmth towards you and I also see there may even be a moment with somebody from a family or just it could be like a partner that you know you might in the past not have been a very affectionate person like a physical touch type of person and I see you like maybe asking for a hug or being affectionate and I see somebody whether it's like family or a partner or something like that having a moment of like oh my god like where's this come from because I see you just waking up that part of you it's like the cuddly care bear inside that maybe you protected and hid and now that care bear is like no I feel really safe now you've got some pretty strong boundaries I feel like I can connect now I know you're gonna look after me so that care bear is kind of like coming out um for people to see which that's what I see in this new era for you guys and I feel like it's gonna be new for you but I don't see you know like that daunting feeling or something feeling new like you may embrace that daunting feeling but it's like no I'm ready to be vulnerable you're in your vulnerable era you're in your 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 lover your lover era you're in your let's be friends era and not let's be friends Veruca Salt, but like let's be friends Barney, you know? Like that's that's where you're at. Like you're you're making friends powerful. Um like you're drawing people in, you know? And I feel like you've always had maybe like close people, but it's it I feel for you guys it's been extremes. Like I feel like you've had friends, but they've had to get over barriers to come into the circle. And then it's almost like they're not even friends, they're family. Whereas I feel like you're going to be making acquaintances. I feel like you're going to have like light heart adventures. I feel like you're going to build some new friendships in different ways that you haven't had friendships before. I feel like you're going to maybe build relationships in ways that you haven't before. I feel like you're going to deepen bonds with people in your circle or family members. Um, that's another thing that I'm that I'm picking up. 100% but I feel like you're mag you're the same way you're being drawn to people and like I want to connect to people people are feeling that way with you if you've ever seen that episode of the office or Michael Scott and he's like I want to have lunch with these people if you don't know the episode because this is how I feel you are this is the era you're in um he basically goes down to stairs because he's like renting a room and he has like a month left and he calls it cafe disco so he has like a little coffee machine and he has a disco ball and he starts playing music and he tries to get everyone down there and at first everyone's like no we're not going down there like this no like that's silly we need to work um and then he like has the speakers up to the vents and it's like that song everybody dance now and he's like playing it and holding it up and um in the end of the episode they all go down and they're all singing like ymca and all of those songs and he's like so happy like dancing with them and that's how I, that's what I feel for you guys. That's what I feel um, for the era that you're stepping into. I see like a lot of joy and I, especially with the moon card here. And if you see on the bridge, there's two people connecting there on the bridge um, on the moon card. Um, the moon may be transiting in your seventh house, uh, your 11th house, like community and things. Um, but I just see you... It's almost like I want connection. I'm connecting to people deeper and I'm igniting aspects of my personality that I never felt comfortable to show before. Um, you're like loosening the grip of the four of pentacles. And you're bringing people in and it's new for you. I can see it's new for you. You have the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. This is new. I feel like it's going to grow and get stronger with time. And I do think the result of it, if you are single is being in a relationship if you are already in a relationship i see that getting deeper um i see you being more carefree lighter hearted and open there's no way i can describe it like i feel open i feel like i can dance around and wave my arms around and dance because i feel like there's a part of me that maybe wanted connection like that or wanting to be seen like that that's now being seen and it's filling my cup and I didn't know that would fill my cup before um because maybe I was afraid to pop my cup out and I just didn't think that that was something that would ignite me and maybe that's why I rejected it but now it's 
something I'm open to. And it could you could find as well attached to that could be things that you didn't like before, like little things that you now like. Like you could it could be especially with you aligning with those energies, even when we shift energetically, we can crave different types of foods. So you may be craving like sweeter foods, um, you know, sugary foods and foods like that or um maybe spicy foods or even like music like you could have been somebody that liked rock and now it's like no I really like indie or now I really like jazz or now I really like pop you know and I, n I never would have listened to that before or I would never listen to you know the mainstream before I never would have you know worn that before but actually part of me wants to wear that now like I, I just see something that you would have rejected being something that's really healing for you that you align with that's the way I would describe it. So let's pull your oracle cards. Pile number four. I love when I shuffle because Jasper just watches me. Jasper's come for your reading. Jasper came for pile three and four. We had Luna and Vader for pile one and two. Pile number four. We have inexperience. What did I say with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles? This feels some, like something new for you. It's like you're learning about that side of you. And look at the pastel pinky colours here. You know what I mean? Um, the higher heart chakra is the pink the pink energy. So it's like you're, you're softening a part of yourself. Um, because that part of you now feels safe. Which makes me feel like you've done something to clear something you've done some sort of energy work or healing to clear a wound there or a part of you that was keeping that version of you safe until you were ready that's why it feels safe to come out we have water but it's something new so i feel like you are going to, not daunted, there may be feelings of daunting, but I, I feel like you're going to allow them to flow. But you're going to feel like this is new for me. I don't know, even know how I'm, I'm going to react to this. This is new for me, wanting connection, wanting a partnership. This is new for me, making friends, liking to do this when I never did before. Pile number four, we have flow. One more card, please, spirit guides. Pile number four. generosity um we have communion at the back of the deck if you can see communion at the back of the deck inexperience water flow generosity yeah so that inexperience is that new part of you that now wants to come out we have water so it's like i'm I'm opening up my vulnerabilities and I'm connecting to your vulnerabilities. It's almost like I'm showing you this aspect of myself so you can show me yours. I'm aligning with this aspect of you so you can align with mine. And it's drawing in people like, I see myself in you. I like to be around you. You give this and I'll give this to you. Like, that's what I see. I see a lot of like really balanced connections. And you also learning about this version of yourself and learning about new parts of yourself through other people in a more rounded way maybe in the past you had like karmic connections where people mirrored you know wounds and then you cleared them so now it's like now you're gonna mirror to me pieces of me that can be activated because it's like inexperienced these are feelings i haven't felt before um and they're coming out and you know there could be fears that come out first but then underneath them there was something that grows um and i'm not going to spoil that for you because that's going to grow you know um when you align with it and then we have flow it's a natural inkling. It's like a natural part of you. It's like, this is the next step in my journey. I'm connecting with people now. This is the next step in my journey. I'm going to align with people now. Or I'm going to build a community. Or I'm going to get myself out there. And make some, you know, make some connections. Or make some acquaintances. Or get some colleagues. Or even just make some new friends, you know. I, I, I do see that. Or open up to dating. And, you know, having a partner. Let's let's give that a, give that a little gander, you know. That's what I see. Um, generosity the thing is you have so much love to give like you are such a light and maybe you've told yourself at times like mm, I don't think 
I don't think people will care that much for me. I don't think people will. It's reminding me of there's the Harry Potter movies, the spin-offs, Fantastic Beasts, and there was a guy, the main character, his name is Newt, and he's always by himself. He loves um the creatures, the animals, and he protects them and looks after them and he befriends one of the muggles one of the normal guys and the guy is like oh you're really cool like i think he says something like do you have any friends or whatever and newt's like no i just move by myself i tend to annoy people and then the guy was like you don't annoy me i think you're really cool and they become friends i'm sure he says something at the end like thank you for being my friend or something like that um but that was his own self-view like mm, people don't like me but people he's like the most charming and dear and person in a movie you know I love him <laughs> do you know what I mean like I, I really like him he's cool so it's like um that's what I feel like sometimes you don't see about yourself there's people that have walked away from you and thought that person was really cool that person was really fun oh my god I love being around that person that person's so funny that person's like interesting but you may have had a self-view like people probably won't get me or people you know won't understand and maybe there may have been time periods where people might not have got you in certain avenues but that didn't mean that was for everyone you know we're for different people and I just see a part of you popping out like this is me you know what I mean like boom um and yeah I, I see community I see connection I see you're in your your lover era <laughs> you're in your um Barney and friends era you know you're in your um cafe disco Michael Scott era you're in your um making allies era you're in your open era <laughs> yeah so pile number four that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your read and i feel very excited for you coming out of this um so yeah hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching